So what's this thing look like? Kind of like some sort of monster from outer space with big ears sticking out the side. Uh, of course, it isn't really. It's a light. Uh, Sansi sends me these lights, and usually I'll test them now and then to see what they do. This one is, you know, it's dust to dawn and all that sort of stuff if you want. It has all the sensors you want. Uh, and it's 45 watts. I had a different use for this thing. And I'm going to show you, well, I'll, I'll show you how the silly thing works. Uh, because there are some, uh, some kind of cool things on it. You can click these things around like that. You can also raise them up and down. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, but that's going to work mostly for uh, me. It's going to work as a uh, uh, light that I use when I make videos. The stand that it's on right now is a stand I've used for lights in the past to light up the work and so I thought I'd uh, try this thing and let's we'll see how it works okay so when I turn this thing on hooray it blasts you out and all that sort of stuff like I said it's 45 watts uh, what I found with an awful lot of these lights is well I have some hundred watt LEDs that I've used for various things around the shop actually this thing here seems to put out more light for 45 watts than uh, my hundred watts do and I can't really compare them completely but uh, they've been developing these lights and they're actually getting pretty good and they're putting out more light for less power and speaking of power, let's see if that 45 watts is accurate. Okay, checking the uh, wattage of this thing. We're drawing 0.69 amps and we are 120.5. Now, I'm going to show you what that is. Okay, what we're looking at is 84 what have I done anything wrong on this thing I don't think so uh, I think it's 84 watts the meter I used is a true RMS meter and so it should be accurate and there's nothing else on that circuit so it actually according to my numbers instead of drawing 45 watts it's drawing 84 which is about double that so it's uh, maybe not quite as energy efficient as I thought however let's look at how the thing performs so I've actually got daylight here and uh, I've got this light ready to switch on and it uh, the camera of course is going to adjust for the uh, for the bright light but the reason you want a lot of light for these cameras is uh, you want all these things to fire all the sensors to fire in the camera and so if you get close-ups and stuff it's a little bit better but let's turn it on and see what it does okay brightened up and then now it's brought back down to where it was uh this would probably work pretty good uh I'm turning these things a little bit away to see if it makes some difference. Yeah, it, it does. Uh, sometimes you don't like the light to be direct, but uh, no, it works out pretty good. It's not as energy efficient as it says it is, at least according to my test. Uh, you know, it's drawing twice the power that I thought. Uh, Putting out a lot of light though, uh, it's probably equivalent to some of my 100 watt LEDs that I got floating around here. Anyway, uh, that's what I think on that one. I'll probably be using it in some of my uh, videos for what it's worth. That's it on this one.